G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here now in our SharePoint Fundamentals training today. We're going to take a look at how you can create a content type in your site collection, add a little bit of metadata to that content type, and then also associate a document template to that content type so that when you go to your document library and you click that new button, you start a document from that template. So let's dive in and see how things work. So we can see here I'm in a SharePoint team site, the Digital Initiative Public Relations. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our content type. Now this is going to be scoped to this particular site collection. Now if we wanted a, a content type that is available across your tenant or across multiple co uh, site collections, then we would create that in the global or the tenant wide content type gallery. You do need SharePoint admin access for that. I understand that uh, a lot of you don't have that. So we're going to contain that to our site collection. So we're gonna go into the top right hand corner into our settings and we're going to go to site information and then view all site settings. So as I said, we're gonna create our content type first under web designer galleries, we'll click site content types. So again, site content types is key here. We're going to create our content type, and we're going to call this one press release, all right? We can enter a description if we want to, and we'll create a new category, and we'll call this uh, Copilot Studio, uh, and then we can group all of our content types in this site in that category. Now, content types are hierarchical, so we need to have a pair of category. We're going to choose the document content type, and we're going to choose a uh, document from that dropdown and we'll hit create. That's created our base content type for us. You can see that we've got a name and we've got a title. Now I'm going to add an additional site column here. Now because it's a press release, we're going to go press release uh, date. All right, so we'll use a date uh, field here. Again, I'm going to create a new category. I'm just gonna call this one press releases. Um, and then from the type, we're going to choose date and time We'll keep everything else the same, and then we'll hit save. So now we've added our, um, our additional column to our content type. Now we're going to come back to this, but under advanced settings is where we would associate our document template. And we'll do that in just a minute. But what we're going to do first is add this content type to our library. So we'll jump back into uh, our digital initiative public relations site. And then I'm going to create a new document library for our press releases. So we've got a new document library, blank, blank library. We'll call this one press releases. Um, we'll keep everything the same. We'll show it in the global, in the site navigation. And then we've created a new blank, uh, our new blank library. Now, a couple of different ways, two different ways we can add a content type. We're going to add a column. And if we scroll down to the bottom of this list here, we can see that we can add a content type from this option, and then we'll get that new content type here called press release. The other way that we could do it is if we go to the library settings and we'll go to more, uh, more library settings, and then through uh, the classic experience here, we would need to go to our advanced, uh, our advanced settings, um, once that loads, we can see that we can allow management of content types. So we could click yes, and then we'll scroll down to the bottom here and we'll click okay. And then we can add our content type from this uh, screen here. So we'll go add from existing content type. We'll choose our category and there we've got our press release and we'll click okay. That's now added that to our library. Now you can see that we've got two docu uh, two content types here though. So what we want to do is not use the default document, but use the press release. So I'm going to click the document content type here, and then I'm just going to simply delete this content type and we'll click OK. It's going to remove that. Now we've only got our press release content type. So if I click on new, you can see that I've now got this press release. But what's going to happen here is that it's going to fire up and start a blank Word document. So what I want to do is I want to associate a template to this content type. 
So I'm going to go back into our library settings. I'm going to go back into more library settings. And then what we're going to do is actually what we'll do is we'll go into the site settings, sorry, and then we'll go to content types. And then from our site content type gallery here, now I'm just gonna group by category. Now you can see that we've got our all of our categories here. We've got our custom category and we've got our press release. I'm going to go to advanced settings like we saw before and here is where I can upload a new document template. So I'm going to click upload new template and I'll click upload. So I've got a press release. I'll just drag this across. I've got a press release uh, document template here that I'm going to upload. You can see there it's a DOCX um, and this is just here the permission so we can choose whether the content type is modifiable and you can see that the setting can be changed later if we need to and then we'll update our sites and lists here and we'll click save. All right so now we've uploaded our template we've associated that to our content type. I'm going to now jump back into our site so we'll jump back here and you can see we've got our press releases um, a library here. We've still got a new button and we've got our press release here. Now what happens when I click on press release is that we're going to be taken or our document is going to be started from that template that we just uploaded. Now you can see there because we're in the web UI here or the office online so it displays a little bit differently to that uh, of if you were using the, the client application. But you can see we're starting that document not from a default or a blank Word document, document, but now from our press release template. I'm just going to click up here. I'll name this one press release one. And we have now renamed that. So if I jump back into the document, you can see here that we've got our, uh, our document. But what we don't have in this view is our custom column. All right, so we'll go show and hide columns and we've got our press release date and we'll click apply. And now we've got that column where we can now uh, edit, the pro uh, edit the properties or have a look at the properties of this content type. And then we can set our press release date. All right, now if I just uh, jump click in here and we can edit and we can change our date like so, all right. The other thing that we can do, we can edit in grid view, and then we can also uh, change our our, uh, our metadata through this process here too in the grid view. All right. So there we have it, creating a content type in your site collection, and then associating a document template to that content type means that whenever we start a new document in that library that we've got that content type associated to, we're always starting from that templated document. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.